You don't need to use Midjourney or Dali if you want to generate AI pictures these days. And you don't need to pay for it either because there are some truly amazing AI picture apps available and they are for free. So if you want to be able to make amazing pictures like these, then make sure to stay tuned for the five best AI photo apps that are for free. And the first one is called Vivid AI. Vivid AI is a classic text to image photo generator. So as you can see here, you type in your prompt, you make it as specific as possible, and then you get your result. Beyond that, you can choose a style for your photo as well as the scenery. And what I really like here is that it gives you examples of how that possibly will look like. So anything from realistic to watercolor to black and white is possible. And as you can see, it turns out pretty great. Of course, some of the options you can only use with a paid plan, but surprisingly, many of the options are entirely free. So that's already an amazing tool to have access to at all times. But if you want a bit more functionality, I think the next app is really for you. This second app is called Photo Director. This is a fantastic app if you're more focused on improving existing pictures with the use of AI. It can, for example, help you artificially enhance existing pictures. So that means it makes your picture sharper, it improves the color saturation, etc. Photo Director also lets you easily remove parts of the picture. You can also take a picture and then turn it into an AI generated version of that. And especially that function I found a lot of fun to play around with because you can turn pretty much anything into an AI generated replica. Again, there are some functionalities in this app that you won't be able to use unless you're willing to pay for it. But for the most part, things can be used for free. But if you feel like so many functionalities are almost a bit overwhelming and you really just want the bare basics, then the next app is exactly right for you. It is called Wombo dream. And this is an app that you simply use to generate AI art. Nothing more, nothing less. You can choose from different aspect ratios, some of which are for free and some of which you have to pay for. And then you move on to write your prompt. Make the prompt as specific as possible and then you're ready to create. I also recommend that you play around with the prompt creation a little bit, use different types of wording and see how it changes the outcome. There are also different styles that you can use and choose from or you let the app surprise you. But those are pretty much all the settings that you have and sometimes that is exactly what I want. Just the bare minimum of what is necessary. As you can see the results that users are getting are pretty cool and I like to scroll there to just see what other people have generated before me. The style is maybe not as photorealistic as other apps but if you're looking for something a bit more playful and colorful then I think this app could be really great for you. But before you make your final decisions we have two more apps that I would like to introduce to you both of which have their own unique strengths. And the next one has some really cool features that I would like to show you. It is called artist.ai. Again, with this app, you can write a prompt and then choose from different styles how you want your picture to look like. So far, so normal. But what makes this app unique is that you can also upload your own picture and then generate a picture based on the style of that one. You can even choose how much your AI art should be influenced by the picture that you uploaded. So let's put that to the test. I uploaded this picture that I found online and then wrote a prompt of what I want my AI art to be about. I let the app work a little bit and after a few seconds, you have a result. Result. And I think it didn't turn out too badly. Obviously, it's not perfect yet, just like all AI art is not perfect, but I think there's a lot of potential here. Especially if you already have some kind of art or picture in a certain style and you want to replicate that for more scenes, I think this is a fantastic tool to use. And with that, we have arrived at the last app that I want to talk about here today. This one is called AI Arta. This app, unfortunately, has a lot of paid features like creating AI avatars or turning a video that you filmed of yourself or somebody else into an AI version of that. But there is also a feature that you can use for free and that I thought was quite fun to play around with. It is the possibility of creating AI selfies of yourself. Now, how does that work? Well, you take a selfie of yourself, you choose from all the different styles that are available, and then you let AI turn that selfie into an AI enhanced version of it. For that, you choose your gender and the weight you want to give your original picture, meaning basically how much you want to alter it. And after a few seconds, you get a result. And I recommend that you play around a bit with the different styles because they are all quite unique and funny until you find what really suits you best. For me, I believe this one is my favorite. Of course, the whole thing is not much more than a gimmick, but it is a fun one. And at least for me, that goes for all these apps and AI art in general. It's something that has huge potential and has developed massively in the last just 12 months, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. So for now, I just use it to have fun, to stay up to date with the technological improvement and to keep track of what's out there. And for doing that, I believe these five apps are the absolute best ones. So try them out for yourself. Let me know what you think and I'll be seeing you in the next video.